friends, I am Grishma and you are watching my channel G Tutorial. Yesterday I have given you some topics for uh, you to cover. Today is day 2 of our mission RRB NDPC and in today's class I will be uh, uploading videos on ratio and proportion. Uh, we have seen only 5 models in the previous class and the rest of the models will be discussed here and also the topic from reasoning is direction. Along with this, you have to study uh, counting of figures from that triangles. And I have previously uploaded a video on that. And I will attach the link of this in the description box. Also, uh, it will be uploaded, it will be added to the playlist of Mission RRB NDPC. So you have to study that. Along with that, you have to study directions which I will uh, teach you now. The rest of the topic you have to cover today is yes. from history you have to cover Aryans and Vedic age along with it this is a small topic so you have to cover Mahajanathapadas also with that. Then yesterday you have uh, studied plant animal kingdom. Today you go for plant kingdom and also study about diseases, different types of diseases uh, that is uh, different causing agents such as bacteria, virus, fungi etc. Do diseases caused by them. It is very important. Uh, such type of questions are asked for the exam. So uh, topic disease is very important. So go study for that. Study that. Next uh, current affairs is very important. So study current affairs from April 1st to 15th. If you are able to get a uh, full month then uh, study that or at least 1 to 15. When you are studying this, study also days and themes, important days in the month of April and also themes for that day. That is important. Uh, then important schemes launched by uh, different state governments and national schemes. Then study seven states, seven sister states now, the northeast. Study about that today. Yesterday, uh, I think you have studied five CMs and governors of five different states. So here, if you are studying the seven sister states, study CMs and governors of that states. Seven sister state means Assam, Arunachal Pradesh, then three M's: Mizoram, Manipur, Meghalaya, Nagaland. This one. Next, aptitude and reasoning. So. Uh, in this class, I will be teaching you directions. So we can go for that class. So we can see the topic directions. This is the easiest topic where you can score mark. Only three types of problems will be asked from this section. So first, we have to understand the different directions. Consider we are placing India's map here. You know that. West Bengal will appear here. So, West Bengal is not in the west. It is in the east. Then, opposite of east is west. And Jammu and Kashmir is in the north. Kerala is in the south. Study about this. This is how you can memorize the different four different directions. Now, the direction between north and east. Between uh, north and east, the it is 90 degree between east and south it is also 90 degree this is also 90 degree and this is also 90 degree so if we are uh, drawing a line through the midpoint of this then that direction is north east this direction is south east this direction is south west this, each of this angle is 45 degree and this one is North West. This is the basic thing you have to understand. Now we can do problems based on this. Two types of problems will be asked from this type of problem. This is the first type of question. A man travels 7 km towards east. Then he turns left and travels 8 km. Again he turns left and travels 10 km. Finally he turns left and travels 2 km. In which direction? is he from his starting point. So,
This is east, this is west, this is north and this is south. First it is uh, mentioned that a man travels 7 km towards east. So he is travelling 7 km towards east. Then he turns left. So this is if he is travelling like this, this is left. So he turns left and travels 8 km. Again traveling towards this direction he turns left so this direction left and he travels 10 km finally he turns left again he turns left that is towards bottom and travels 2 km in which direction he is from starting point so now he has reached here so from starting point he is in which direction? This is what we are asked. He is in this direction. So, this is north, this is south, this is east, this is west. The direction between north and west is his final point. So, this is northwest direction. So, the man is in northwest direction from his starting point. This is the answer. This is the first type of question. Now we can see the second type of question. This is the next question. From my house, I walked 5 km towards north. I turned right and walked 3 km. Again, I went 1 km to the south. How far am I from my house? So this is the basic thing. East, west, north, south. I walked 5 km towards north. So, I am starting from here, walked 5 km towards north. Then I turned right. Going upward, going towards north, right is this. So you have to handle the question as if you are facing the board or paper. And then analyze the question. So going to north, he turns right. So this is my right. So he is turning right. And then walked 3 km. So he walked 3 km. Then what? Again, I went 1 km to the south. So towards south, he walked 1 km. And what is this distance? If this is 5, this is parallel to that. So this entire thing is 5. 5 minus 1, this is 4. What is asked? How far am I from my house? This is my house. This is my final point. So I have to find this distance. This is the shortest distance. If this is 4 and this line is parallel to this line. This is 3. Then what is this? You can consider this as a right angle triangle. And the hypotenuse of the right angle triangle gives the distance. So 3, 4 root of 4 square plus 3 square which is root of 25. 5 is the answer. You don't have to do this much things if you are knowing the concept of Pythagorean triplet. 3, 4, 5. 5 is the answer. Another Pythagorean triplet is 6, 8, 10. Another one is mm, 24, 25, 7. Like that. If you are studying uh, some Pythagorean triplets, if you are uh, having them aside, then you can easily uh, find the, the value of distance. This is the type 2 problem. Now we can go for the type 3 problem. This is the third type problem. A watch reads 4.30. If a minute hand point towards the east, in what direction will the hour hand point? So, First thing you have to do is, you have to uh, depict this on a picture as a clock. Actual representation of 4.30. This is our clock. 4.30 is, uh, clock is having two handles or two hands or and a minute hand. So, when the time is 4.30, the minute hand will point towards 6 and the hour hand will point towards 4. This is the time 4.30. This is the actual representation of 4.30. But 
But here we are given that if the minute hand points towards east. So this is east, this is west, this is north and this is south. So we have to redraw this figure such that the minute hand, this is the minute hand points towards east. Then in which direction is our hand point? This is what we are asked. What is the angle between these two? Or we can, after drawing, we can say about that. Four thirty means uh, it is not point towards four. It is pointing somewhat after four. In between four and five. Exactly in between 4 and 5. So our hand will be exactly in between 4 and 5. So this is 90 degree. This is 90 degree. And this will be half of that. That is 45 degree. Okay. Now we can redraw the figure such that. This minute hand points towards east. This is east. So we are rotating it in clockwise direction. First place here, then place there, then place there. So, this is how the minute hand will be. Then, the our hand will be pointing towards here. And this angle will be 45 degrees. Okay. So, what is the direction of this our hand? It is between north and east. So it is in northeast direction. This is how we have to do this type of problem. Shift, shift, shift. Then this hand will be facing here and the our hand will be facing there. Okay. Now we can go for the next type of problem. That will be if a man is facing uh, towards another man at sunrise or sunset. So this concept is sunset sunrise concept. This is the other, this is the another portion from where questions are asked from the topic directions. First let us see the sun rises concept. Sun, we know that sun rises in the east. So when a man is facing east in the morning, where will be his shadow? Shadow always forms after touching the object. The light rays comes from the sun. It hits the man. And then when he is facing towards east, the shadow will be behind him. So when man is facing east, his shadow is behind him. Then if he is facing west. Okay, he is facing west. So, where will be his shadow? His sh light rays from sun falls him and then forms shadow in front of him. So, when he is facing west, his shadow will be, I am facing here, light rays comes from uh, east, then my shadow will be in front of me. This is the second case. Then third case, these two cases are more important. He is facing south. Then I am facing south and standing. Sunrise, sunrise, sun, sunrise come from there. Hit me and my shadow will be on the right side. When I am facing south. So on my right. When I am facing south. The other is when I am facing north. When I am facing north. Then sun, sun come Sunrise comes from east, strikes me and it will be on my left side. Okay, just reverse, reverse is the case with sunset concept. So sun will be in the west, when he is facing east, here will be the sun in that case. Then when he is facing east, his shadow will be in front of him, uh, west it will be behind him. Uh, right and left. All are reversed in that case. Sunset case. So this is more important. And these two cases are very very important. 
questions are asked for these two cases it will be like two persons are talking to each other one is facing this side when other is facing the opposite side they are facing each other and then uh, one shadow will be formed on which side like that questions will be like that okay now we can see a question from this topic this is a question one day morning ram and sita were talking to each other in a park suddenly sita observed Ram's shadow becomes left hand side of him. Find Sita's direction. So, one day morning, that is sun rises concept is used here. Ram and Sita are were talking to each other. So, they are facing each other and talking. Suddenly, Sita observed Ram's shadow becomes left hand side of him. Find Sita's direction. It is not mentioned that shadow is behind him or in front of him. So, they are either facing uh, one is facing north and the other one is facing south. So we can uh, find the correct direction by using trilinear method only. So let us consider Ram is standing here and Sita is standing here and sun is in the east in the morning. Then it is said that suddenly Sita observed Ram's shadow left hand side of him. Sita is seeing, Sita is facing north and Ram is facing south. Then Sita observed Ram's shadow left hand side of him. Sita is looking at Ram and she saw his shadow on left hand side of him. If we are uh, taking this assumption, it is not possible. Sun is coming from, sunrise is coming from the east. It can, Ram is facing south. So his shadow will be on the right hand side if he is standing like this, he facing south. So, this assumption is wrong. So, Ram will be facing north and Sita will be facing south. Then we can again apply this concept. Sita observes Ram's shadow on left hand side of him. So, Sita is seeing Ram's shadow on left hand side. Sunrise comes from here. It strikes Ram and his shadow is found on his left. This is correct. So, Find Sita's direction. Sita is facing what direction? Ram is facing north. Sita is facing south. Sita's direction is south. This is how you have to solve this kind of problem. This is the last type of problem that can be asked from the topic directions. I think you are clear, for, uh, clear with this topic. This is an easier uh, portion for the exam. So I am not uh, dealing with much problems. I think you all are clear with this concept. If you are having any doubt or if you need uh, me to solve more problems please comment and if you are having any suggestions please comment that too please share my videos so that those who are in need may be benefited thank you